Hey there, Lake and Park. Here's a quick video on some tank chemistry for you. So here's a, uh, an example of a test completed here, and I'll move you a little closer so you can see these levels that we are getting numbers on. We've used the Freshwater Master Test Kit, which I talked about in, uh, in a previous video about pH when we did a pH um, <clears throat> evaluation. And so some of you have, have probably watched that video. And in this video, we've also tested for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, um, which are all going to indicate the levels of uh, waste that are in our tank and tell us something about the health of the bacteria in our tank and how much of, water, of a water change we need to do and how often we need to do water changes. So bring you a little closer so I can explain what we're looking at here. So on the far left, we've got our pH. That's explaining, uh, this is indicating how the pH of our water on a scale of zero to 14, seven being neutral, um, how acidic or basic our water is. And it might be hard to tell the color from this, but we're looking right in that zone around 7.0, right around neutral, which is good, and uh, a healthy place to be for our freshwater salmon. At this point, freshwater. So uh, moving on, we've got ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. And those of you who may have read a post that I uh, put on Google Classroom about the nitrogen cycle, might be familiar with some of these words now. Um, when there's extra waste in our tank by, made by extra food that the fish don't eat, excess food, and then their waste, their salmon poop, those two things break down. And when they break down, they create something called ammonia, which can be dangerous to the fish on high levels. So we want to test for that level and make sure that it's as close to zero as possible. And here you can see its color is really close to zero ppm parts per million, or perhaps 0.25 parts per million. So that's a good level, and we're gonna make it even better today by doing a water change. Now that ammonia is then broken down by nitrifying bacteria. There's bacteria in the tank, and that's a good thing. That's bacteria that's gonna break the ammonia down into something called nitrite. Now nitrite can also be dangerous for fish, so we wanna keep that level low. Um, and as you can see here, that blue color is really close to that zero ppm, zero parts per million, so that's where we want it. So that's doing, that's great. Now there are nitrifying, even more nitrifying bacteria in the tank that then transform the nitrite into nitrate. Nitrate is less dangerous to uh, aquatic animals and fish, um, and in a natural system like out in a pond, it could, the energy of nitrate could be used by things like algae and plants. While there's no algae and plants in a tank like this, it has nowhere to go, and so we want to do water changes to flush out the water, keep it nice and fresh for our coho fry, and so that's what we're going to do. But as you can see, this level is also more yellow than anything else, so it's close to zero ppm. So we're doing just what we're supposed to be doing, lots of water changes to keep our uh, tank fresh, and all of the beneficial bacteria in the tank are doing their job. And uh, before I go, I'll give you another look at our coho fry here, getting big. I've turned off the bubbler um, because I'm about to do a change, so that's why it's, you, there's no, not a lot of action happening in here. They're kind of still because there's, the filters aren't moving and the bubblers aren't bubbling. But they are doing great. And we'll see you next time, Lake and Park.